What's up YouTube? Welcome to ZP TV. If you're new to the channel, man, do that boy favor. Hit that sub button. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to like, comment, and you share. Yes, sir. We're back again with another reaction video. Nasty C. No big deal. So on New Year Eve, New Year Day. Sako did drop a song, Landlord, DC Nasty C. I didn't know what it was all about, but y'all told me the reason he did that was cause Nasty C this him first. So y'all sent me this, so it's kind of it's gonna kind of be like reverse, cause we did Sako did part already. But we're gonna check this out. I think now it's gonna make sense to why Sako did did that. If a lot of people catch what I'm saying, y'all know what it is. Yeah, step up in the building, man. Y'all make sure let's get 300 likes on this video. Let's see how nice to see this Sakadi or whatsoever they say it was. Bro, it's just instrumental. When it's a dish track, man, you don't let the beat breathe. You just come in bam. We're just listening to instrument. Catch the vibe. When I first met Sako there, he wouldn't shake my hand. Cool. I'm not too proud to say I'm still a fan. But I held a grudge and told myself to wait till I'm the man. I'll never give that man a verse. And boy, did I stick to my plan. Whoa. I think yeah, it is. He kept the first line, bro. The first line. He said, when I first met Sakadi, that man wouldn't shake my hand. I hold in the grudge. And I said to myself, I will never give that man a verse. Excuse me. I see where it's coming from. Maybe it was already, Sakodi was already a superstar. And this is my take. I don't know if Sakodi knew who Nasty C was. I don't know when this happened. I don't know. But I'm just assuming, right? Maybe this maybe this is when Sakodi was already like a superstar. But Nasty C was like still coming up. Things like that. And he didn't know. And you know, when you're, in a, when you're a superstar, man, you can't just let anybody run up on you. Because you never know people's intention. But again, I don't know. If y'all really know the story, how it went, y'all put it down in the comment section, man. Let's 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 run it back a little bit. Let's run it back a little bit. Just a little a little a little, a little bit. He wouldn't shake my hand. Cool. I'm not too proud to say I'm still a fan. But I held a grudge and told myself to wait till I'm the man. I'll never give that man a verse. And boy, did I stick to my plan. Woo! Two requests over the years and I declined them both. I just made up some dumb excuse like I'm in album mode. But looking back on that today, I was in coward mode. Oh, man. It looked like after when he started popping, so could he have reached out to him and be like, I need a verse. Because he said, he said he would never give him a verse and he stick to the plan. So when he reached out, he's like, I'm always in an album mode. Like, I'm working on a project. I'm working on an album. I'm busy right now. I can't, you know, all of that. But look back on that today. I was a coward mode. Oh, so now he's kind of like regretting. He's kind of like regretting. Some dumb excuse like I'm in album mode. But looking back on that today, I was in coward mode. Ooh. And besides, those two songs are either out or old. See, that's the best way I know how to get shit off my chest. I was just a disappointed fan. It's nothing more or less. But now I'm over that shit. And he's got all my respect. If he asked me for a verse again, it'll I can understand where Nasty C is coming from. He said I was just a disappointed fan. So he grew up looking to Sakodi like a big brother, like a mentor, all of that. He was a fan. But and then when he met him in person, he didn't play how he thought or how he wanted it to play. So he got disappointed. He said, but I'm just trying to get shit out of my chest. Ain't no big deal, you know. We all getting money now. Best way I know how to get shit off my chest. I was just a disappointed fan. It's nothing more or less. But now I'm over that shit. And he's got all my respect. If he asked me for a verse again, it'll be my hardest one yet. Then I was out and I cried. Me oh, oh. Oh. 
Oh man, you hear that? I'm gonna play. Disappointed fan, it's nothing more or less. But now I'm over that shit. And he's got all my respect. If he asks me for a verse again, it'll be my hardest one yet. You hear that? So he kind of regret it. And uh, he said it's like he was just trying to get shit off his chest, which he did. So now all of that is in the past. He said, if Sakodi could have or should have asked for another verse again, it's going to be the hardest one. So he's going to pull like his beds into it to give Sakodi a verse. If Sakodi will ask, maybe you should reach out and ask, you know? So he said, literally, like, if they get again in the collaboration, if they could, it's gonna be the best. Do y'all think we need that? Y'all put it in the comment section, man. Do y'all need Sakodi and Nasty C Future? Put it in the comment section if we all think we deserve that. If we need that, y'all tag them in the comment section, man. I like it. Get shit off my chest. I was just a disappointed fan. It's nothing more or less. But now I'm over that shit. And he's got all my respect. If he asked me for a verse again, it'll be my hardest one yet. Then I was out and I cried. Media run for my album is turning into a mess. If you tuned in, you could guess. They asked me if I knew shots, or they say he's one of the best. My honest response ended up being twisted up by the press. He un uh oh, shut the wallet, movement. He said he was up in a crowd doing press release for his album and somebody that asked him, do you know Shatter? That they said he is the best hit on the city and he gave his honor respect or his honor opinion. You know, at times it be like that with a lot of celebrities, man. They be in their own world. They don't know everybody. Somebody can be popping, but they don't pay attention or maybe that's not the type of music. And you responded like, um, I don't think he is or that. It's going to end up in the press because now you're a superstar. It's not. That's how us, the fans, we create, we always create that beef. Or the social media. Nine out of ten times, it's always the social media, the fan, that be creating beef between celebrities. It's never nothing. But, you know, he said he was misunderstood. If he asked me for a verse again, it'll be my hardest one yet. Then I was out and I cried. Media run for my album is turning into a mess. If you tuned in, you could guess. They asked me if I knew shots, or they say he's one of the best. My honest response ended up being twisted up by the press. He understood that, so there's really nothing there to address. But I thought I'd speak on it to put it to rest. And show that man some respect. Got something else I need to speak on next. I think it's time I take this back to the nest. There's been a couple requests. He said he respect Shata and Shata understood it, how the press work. So he said he, he respect him and he just wanted to speak on it so that he put it to rest. It's not like he tried to disrespect Shata or he tried to undermine who Shata Wale was. I like him, it, man. It's not. I think to me, I don't, I'm not going to call this a diss track. I'm just going to say maybe honor or maybe... How can you say? He was just speaking his mind. He was just telling us how he feel, how he been feeling. You know how we can say? You know what I mean? Yes, sir. You know I tried to scratch that shit with a Reese. Hard as it was to put my pride aside, I tried to make peace. It wasn't even no beef. That shit was petty spaghetti. Two weeks later, I'm disrespected and regretted already. Couldn't even get on my life without people bringing them up again. I end up saying fuck them then. Something that was not in my. Oh man, it's like I feel like this song is a moment of him to like bring, cause according to what we're hearing in this, it's a lot of things that he done done that he regret doing them. Because especially the little minor minor thing, he said he got into it with a reason that it was nothing major. It was just something minor. But when he gets to social media, it's always getting big. He was like, it was just something little like a spaghetti. But now he's on social media. Now y'all trying to make me feel where I believe. Like, Fuck y'all all. <laughs> he get mad. He's like, F y'all all, bro. Like I ain't trying to under explain myself to y'all all. Now y'all to make it really big. Without people bringing them up again, I end up saying fuck them then. Something that was nothing might really turn into something then. I don't even know why we beefing, dog, but it's up again. I'm down to go either way at this Ooh. point. I'll leave it up to him. But I fuck with 25 and I. F he said he don't know why we're beefing, but it's up again. 
when it's two celebrities like from the same city it's always like who is the top who is the top it happened like that in every other country bro every other country it don't matter what it is it's the same city the same they're always gonna be competing the fan is gonna be like you better you better you better it's always gonna be like that we can't we can't blame them for that but at this point i'll leave it up to him but i fuck with 25 and i fuck with flame and a lot of other dope artists that fuck with him but i be dumb as fuck they ever put my trust in them and for my two niggas i said i'd ride with until our hearse is closed i won't rap about you it's too personal just know you niggas hurt me though Ooh. It hurts when it be the one you love hurt you, bro. It's another type of hurt. When it be the one that you truly love, that hurt your soul, that hurt your heart, it's different, bro. It's different. That's why he said he ain't gonna talk about it. But y'all should know y'all hurt me. Niggas hurt me, though. And you already said some words, and sadly, there's no reversing those. Yeah. Don't say what that you can never take back because why you say them, you can't reverse them. That's why he's regretting because he don't say a lot of words. What's that freestyle on the beat? <laughs> yes, sir. I like the instrumental. It's kind of like mellow. It's like you just want to air it out. You just want to let it go. You just want to let it breathe. 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 That's just what you want to do. And I can promise you, I mean no malice to anybody I spoke on. Mm. None. None. Like I said, I'm just getting shit off my chest. You're more than welcome to take it however you want to take it. I don't think that's up to me. It never has been. He said, it's either you're going to accept it. I'm not going to say he's apologizing. It's kind of like a... An apology, but at the same time, it's like he is just adding it. He's just bringing it up to daylight. So he's like, it's up to you, bro. I don't tell you how I feel. I don't get it on my chest. It's up to you, bro. If you're going to forgive me or you're going to hold grudges, it's up to you, bro. That's how he's feeling at this point. That's how he is feeling at this point. What happened to his little brother, man? He said, rest in peace to my little brother, Yoshi. What happened to him? Y'all put it in the comment section, man. Man, he so rest in peace. Hey, keep the angel watching on Nance. I am so grateful for every second I got to spend with you, man. Change the way I view life. And a lot of people say shit like that just because someone's gone. I'm glad I got to tell you this to your face while you were here. He, y'all know when you love someone, especially someone that was close to you, someone that you really love, that you never really show them how much you appreciate and love them. It hurts, bro. When you lost them, it's like, oh my God. And then now it's like, I can't even show you no more. I can't even tell you. I wish I could have done this. But that's just how life is. That's why they say, Every minute, every second that somebody's in your life, always appreciate it. Always tell them how much you appreciate them. Because life is funny, man. Life is funny, man. Yeah, nice to see. This is my own verse to you. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all suck the get in the studio. We need an album. 
just an album. We don't even need a we don't even need a song. We just need an album. The fan need that. If y'all accept that, y'all put in the comment section, man. Oh, yeah. I love the beat. Y'all know what time it is, man. We get to the end of it. I didn't think I'm not gonna call this a diss. I just think Nasty C kind of like just told the world how he felt and what he's been going through. And he tried to like get things off his chest as he said. But I don't know. That's how Zippy feel. Anybody have the opinion to feel how they feel. But at the same time, it's like he says, it's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah, let me know which other thing y'all want me to react on. Send it in the comment section. Send it directly in my inbox. Y'all go check my IG out. It can zip zippy. Until then, man, I see y'all in the next one.